mistake, girl. You, you made did. a mistake. You did. Well, I told you. I mean, of course she's made a mistake. She's given consent to her boyfriend to date other people. That's never really clicked in my head. Why would you want to date other people when you're already dating each other? Yo, what's happening guys? It's your boy Xy. Uh, so today, I was searching around the internet. I was searching around the internet? Okay, shut up. No, but seriously, am I the only one that thinks of that whenever I say anything regarding searching around the internet? Anyway, back on topic. So I hopped on YouTube this morning and I saw a video by the beautiful company BuzzFeed. And this particular video was titled, Couples Date Other People for the First Time Ever. And I think it was some nice and quality content to react to, so yeah, let's take a look at it. Yikes, dude. We have been together for 13 years. We want to try to go on a date with, with other people without getting in trouble. Mm -hmm. But why, though? I mean, if you're having a good 13-year relationship that's going well, why would you ever want to screw that up? Or possibly screw that up. So John and I both, we decided to do a casting call on our Instagram. Whoever wanted to go on a date with John, who wanted to go on a date with me. Now mind you, they had to agree to these dates. It wasn't like I could just reach out and just grab anybody. Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah, and they had to be, like, for sure attracted to us, you yes. know? But then why else would they date you? A lot of people might think that this is really, really weird because it really is. Like, I mean, at least they're self-aware. But honestly, I feel like the only bad thing about this is that they could totally like screw up their relationship by doing this. Why we're doing this? But I think it's really fun. I mean, we've been together for a long time. We just wanted to know what dating was like today. She's going to pick her date for me and I'm going to pick the guy I want for her. We do love each other a lot. Then, again, why do this? They're actually contradicting themselves so much by what they're saying. But this is really fun. This is supposed to be a fun experiment. Mm -hmm. Not like, oh my gosh, we're gonna leave each other after, right? Yeah, right. Wow, how'd I know? I don't nice even know what to, to say. Too. Oh my god, I don't even want to let your hand go. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. Now that, that is a face of pure awkwardness. Can you see the pain and despair in his eyes? And how he just doesn't want to be here. How are you? I'm just trying not to stare. Man. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't tell me she was gonna give me the tomb right there. <laughs> you look great today. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, love your hat. Oh, thank you. Ah, it's cute. Thank you. It's thank you. cute. I like your course. outfit too. Oof, dude, this is so hard to watch. It's so awkward. Oh, thank you. It's a little uh, chilly in LA, <laughs> so you know, is what it is. Um, yeah, so, uh... Dude, that's actually so tough. Like, at least just say, hey, where are you from? Or something like that. What do you like to do for fun? See, this guy knows where it's at. I'm just so happy I didn't have to be in any of these situations. I scuba dive. You scuba dive? Yeah. Uh -oh. I was like, uh -oh. my... I'm already intrigued. <laughs> we got a warrior princess. Oh my <laughs> god, what? What made you, like, respond to my casting? Like, looking for a date? Well... Of course, you're cute. Second, I really just watching you and just seem like I enjoy your personality. You're really uh, oh, thank you. bubbly. Thought I'd give it a try. All right, we're starting to get a little bit better on like the awkwardness issue. But hey, man, you got you got some stuff to work on. Why are you on a date if you have a girlfriend? <sighs> man, so uh, we always get these like in these little funny conversations, like you know these little debates about oh, you know how would it be dating somebody else? And because uh -huh. I've never been with another woman before. Really. Yeah. I've been awfully negative in this video, but hey, that doesn't happen often, so props to him. Um, was yeah, she your, your first girlfriend? First girlfriend, first <gasps> everything. I mean, I mean, she's had boyfriends before, but like, I mean, as far as like, you know, anything else beyond that, then yeah, yeah, I've been the first oh, everything. Oh my god. I might be in the market for a side chick, you mean you up for it? Ew, yeah! yeah! <laughs> we'll meet her, we'll meet her. What if I like her better than you? Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do? Like, do you... I love photography, actually. But I have to ask you the question. What is the question? Why are you guys not married? Oh my god, I knew that was coming! <laughs> 13 years. Why are you uh, not proposing to her? It's not a matter of why am I not. It's a matter of why I haven't. I mean, it's not that easy to propose to somebody. It's kind of a big deal, not gonna lie. I'm like probably the master procrastinator. It's never gonna be the right time, and I know that, you know, but every time it seems like it's the right time, something falls in front of it and it's just like, oh my God, I gotta pay this bill, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And then it's like, you know, every time we have these conversations and we have debates all the time, like, you know, she's a she's a very humble girl. You know, she's a very simple woman, she always says. 
I want a hundred dollar ring. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And it's just like, but I want to give you the world. Every time it's like, oh, okay, I saved up enough money, and then something happens, and then I just got to spend all that money again, and then I have to like kind of recuperate. And that's just been happening over and over and over again. But then I start to realize that, dude, it's thirteen years. Either do it now, or she gonna leave you. I mean, hey, I might just be a fourteen-year-old making videos on his computer, but this man's saying some pretty good facts. So take notes, people. My parents wants me to marry John, and it's like, what's stopping awesome. us, you know? See. But what's stopping us? Is he missing out on a, what his dream girl is? Or am I missing like out on an Asian guy? So, wait, so do your parents want you to marry an Asian guy like from there you were young? It was really hard for my parents to accept John, but they accepted it after like four years. Wow. And now they like love, love, love him. Like more than me. Like they really? would be scared if I lost him. This was nothing short of spectacular. I had an amazing time. I had an amazing I'm, time too. I'm so enlightened. <laughs> like it's crazy. Yes, like, oh, give me a hug. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. <sighs> it was nice meeting you. I'll see you soon. All right, all right. Well, well this I think was you did, uh, good. definitely different for me. Thank you for being here and um. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, <laughs> Thank you for coming. Yes. Well, in conclusion, I believe you should stay with your partner while you're dating them. It's just the right thing to do. But I mean, I guess if you both agree to it, then I guess it works, but I don't know, I still probably want to do it. But I mean, hey, whatever floats your boat. Well, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's 12 o'clock at night, it's time for me to head out. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And also, bear with me with the mic quality, I plan to get a new one soon, so sorry about that. Yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.